everyone. I am back and I am coming to you with a the wrappers that I created for the crispy treats which are these here and this is the size of the crispy treats. They also have the fruity pebble treats as well and they are the same size. So, uh you can either choose to use it among the crispy treats or the pebble treats so I'm going to pull out my rice crispy treat label and show you that then I will continue on this to assembly so here's the rice crispy treat la label and you can find it here at my shop and the template is available for Cricut or Silhouette you also will receive a video tutorial, or actually the video tutorial will be on YouTube, and then you can decide, or you can just design from the steps, by following the steps that I take and creating your own. It does not have to be just the, this theme, it can be any theme that you want. And I do have several videos on how I create several different themes for several different templates and the softwares so sometimes I'll bounce back and forth from silhouette to Cricut I'll do one template in Cricut one template in silhouette but they're pretty much the same steps if Cricut is more of a uh, just a little bit more use uh, what do you call it just takes a little bit more steps on to how to uh, download and stuff like that I will do videos on that as well just to help customers that are purchasing these templates on how to use them. Okay, so I'm going to fold where the two patterns meet, which is this pattern in the front towards the back. This template is not for anybody. It's just a sample for the video. But it's cute, though. So I just did the whole same theme on all the snack stuff. So there's the front of the logo, Jenica's Rice Krispie Treats. It has the mermaid, and then it has the octopus. And then the tag barcode says, of course it doesn't say Mermaid Jenica. It says Mermaid Emily, happy birthday too. Because I didn't, I forgot to change that and plus this isn't for anybody. It's just for the video. All right, so I'm going to overlay, going to lay my treat down. And I'm going to place it here onto the snack. Fold over the other piece. Make sure the barcode piece is over not under bring my hot glue over here so this is the way the treat came out they're so cute they are so cute and I can't wait to create other themes for y'all and show y'all how to use them and all I did was print regular copy paper I don't use any fancy shiny paper or nothing like that because it's just too expensive and uh, and all reality all they're gonna do is tear it open so I'm gonna hot glue this piece here very carefully okay and then I'm gonna remove my snack and fold this over so you already have your pre folds ready you're not uh, there trying to tackle the folds and the placement you already know where it's going to be placed so I removed my snack out just so that I could have a better grip on pressing this down and not burning myself so this is how it looks then you grab your treat and place it in there if you want you can tape these edges down just to help you more with uh, placing it into the sleeve so yeah, this is like a sleeve right now. Okay. There we go. There's the front of it. Now, I'm going to push in all this hanging over stuff so that I'm not accidentally cutting it open when I trim the edges here. Okay. Now, I'm going to hot glue all this inner part. Okay. 
press it down. There we go. Press down the other side or glue the other side. Just su be super careful when you're using hot glue because it can be very hot and burn your fingers. Now I am going to, I don't see any, well yeah, I see some white hanging over. So I'm going to trim the edges so that I don't have any white hanging off on either side. So there's a little bit of white hanging off over here. I'm going to cut that off first. Then I am going to get my... my fancy cutters right here you don't have to have these you can just use regular scissors there we go and cut the edges like so there there's the edges how cute this is so cute now um Next thing I'm going to show you is the um, paper crimp style. This is the paper crimp style. And I'll, the next, the next uh, wrapper, I'll paper crimp it. So there's the Rice Krispie, another one. Now I'm gonna get a pop ring out, or ring pop. And these were found at the Dollar Tree and they have four in a pack for a dollar. And uh, let me get the logo for that, or the label. Here's my label. I'm going to move my hot glue before I burn myself. That's not going to be very pretty if I do. I'm going to cut the ring pop. This, lo this label is also available for Silhouette or Cricut in my Etsy shop. When you check out, it asks you what software you want it for, and you could just choose it at your convenience and just please include your email so that it can be sent to your email along with the video tutorial you'll get this video tutorial even though maybe you're watching it here sometimes I just get people straight off of Etsy buying the templates but I provide the video I provide the template and I provide the uh, what other video? The create to design video. Okay. So again, we're gonna fold where the templates meet. And it looks kind of big for the for the. But I mean, you can. It does hang over a little bit, but because I added her picture and all that. Um, it's going to fit good around the, the, the wrapper. So then the next one, I'm going to fold it just slightly under her, the picture of the mermaid. There we go. Now I'm going to place down my ring pop. So I give that little extra overhang so that I'm not cutting anything off when I go to trim it. So that's why it looks a little bit bigger than the actual um, wrapper itself. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to hot glue the edge, glue it down, and then I'll come back and do the side. Place the snack in there.
Yeah, if I make it too small, you're, there's going to be difficulty assembling, so I don't want that happening. So the little overhang helps with closing it and all of that. Because this can get very frustrating if it's not the right size, or if it's too small, and it's just way more difficult to put together. Okay. There we go. I can also ship these printed. That is all I do. I do not assemble. I do not provide the product. You have to assemble yourself. All right. So there it is. Now, the Ring Pop logo is on there because you got to know what is wrapped in these beautiful packages. Here's the Ring Pop itself. I just added that one to give it match the color of the doll and background and all that and then it has happy birthday and the child's name with age on the barcode in the back now um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off any white showing and there's a little bit of white showing on this side just a little bit I'm gonna trim both edges pretty closely So the ring pop is actually this size, but like I said, you're going to have difficulty wrapping it because if it were to be smaller, the actual size, it tends to get very difficult for you. So, and then the ring pop is really bulky. So, um, that helps with it too. I'm going to get my paper crimper here. And crimp this one and then we're gonna move on to the mini mini Oreo snacks there we go crimp it two runs two rolls crimp the other side I think I got this crimper at walmart.com I'm sure you can find it anywhere but Walmart was the cheapest and there it is. There's the paper crimped on the edges. And then since I uh, cut it like this, I can crimp it too. I can cut it fancy and I can crimp it at the same time. How cute is that? These are so adorable. Look, so it has a paper crimp and the fancy cut on the edges. All right, so moving on to the next snack, which is the Oreo Minis. All right, so the mini Oreos. I'm going to cut this by hand because it's just going to be quicker for me. And um, it too has the logo, mini Jenica's Mini Oreo Snack. And that is what is going to be in this container because once you start covering all the logos that are on the actual package, you want your guests to know what is in there. You want your guests to know what's in the package. They also have the Chip Ahoy sauce. They also have the Chip Ahoy flavor, uh, which is a chocolate chip cookies minis at Dollar Tree. I bought the Oreos and the Ring Pops at Dollar Tree and the Krispies at my local grocery store. They didn't have Rice Krispies at Dollar Tree. Which I kind of figured it they wouldn't because of the if they did it'll probably be like a two or four pack but they didn't. And this one has eight I think in there for two something at the grocery store. But of course you're buying larger quantities. I would get the bigger boxes all right so here is the tag for the oreo wrapper in the front and this is the top tag the tag for the top here so for the top tag uh, i'm going to use my tape runner and i do have tape runner i don't know why i said i didn't but i do uh, now, of 
find it. Great. Where is it? Okay, don't have time for that. So I'm going to use. No, I don't want to use glue dots. I'm going to use double tape. See if I can find that. Okay, double-sided tape since I don't have tape runner and I'm just going to place one right in the middle. This is not an actual product for anybody, it's just a sample. So when assembling these I would use something that's more secure and hold everything down in place. Alright, then this tag here goes right over this front logo. And this is a template I created myself. I did measure, cut, and scan, and all the good stuff in my printer was able to get this template made. There we go. Mm, so I'm just going to double tape the edges just so that it can be placed on the side here. Just really quickly to show you. But I would be taping both, all four edges with uh, runner's tape, if you have it. Um, hot glue, I don't know so much because it might melt your cup and you don't want that happening. So I would say no to hot glue. There we go. That is so cute. And there it is. There's the mini Oreo snack, and it has her name. And then, of course, it's telling your guest what is in the containers. And I added that pop, uh, pop of pink on her clothes just to give it a better look on her. And this tag should be this way because you want to look at it. So, for in my opinion, I would not add whatever's here up here. I would change it up because it's just going to look over, over power, over satur It's going to look saturated. You're using the same logos and stuff down here that you're using on the tag. It's just going to make it look, it's just not going to look good. So when they're placed on your table, they can see, oh, it's a little mermaid. She's two. Okay. And then her name and the logo of what's in here on the container up in the front. And that's it. So when you place these on the table, they're just cute as ever. So these are all the snacks that we made. I hope y'all have a great day. And there will be pictures at the end of the video. Links in the description box for purchase of the templates. And y'all have fun. See you then. Bye-bye.